you are watching KC News with Anna Profit. In this release, we will plunge into the crypto world and talk about the main events of the past week. Blockchain and its new frontiers in a global economy. Recent successes of Bitcoin by startups on the world stage. Stock taking of the London Blockchain Week 2017. Details of this and other news in seconds. Attention to the crypto from authorities. The world leaders in finances are going to work with cryptocurrencies and blockchain. Dubai will digitize all documents with blockchain. According to CryptoNews.net, Dubai and blockchain company are partnering up for an interesting project meant to place all of the city's government documents and transactions on a blockchain platform. In a recent press statement that took place in Davos, the CEO of blockchain, Peter Smith, mentioned I am very optimistic about the Middle East and we plan to invest big there. As time passes by, Peter remains optimistic on the future of blockchain tech. Gold trade via blockchain The Royal Mint has announced the gold market using a blockchain technology. They also said about cooperation with Asami Group, the derivatives market with which they will to develop their product. New digital gold called the Royal Mint Gold, about 1 billion in gold billions, will be stored at the mint in Wales. Blockchain could change the global financial system. The Federal Reserve Chief Janet Yellen said about this during the speech at the Forum of the Commonwealth Club. My um, understanding is that this is a technology that enables uh, transactions and ownership of things uh, to be um, taken care of automatically without a need, for example, for a trusted um, central party to um, record, record transactions. So it is a very important new technology that could have um, implications for um, the way in which transactions are handled throughout the financial system. We are looking at it in terms of its promise in some of uh, the technologies that we, do, we use ourselves and many financial institutions. Earlier, at the meeting of the representatives of 19 central banks in Washington, Yellen called on her colleagues from the central banks of other countries begin to explore new financial technologies more actively. A new white paper project sidechain introduced the Blockstream company. Technical description have a name, strong federations, an interoperable blockchain solution to centralized third-party risks and contains updated mechanism for consensus and trust model and a description of mechanisms for the return of funds sent to the parent chain in the event of failure. This white paper is a result of experiments with SegWit and confidential transactions, said developer of Blockstream Andrew Puelstra. Sidechain with a confidential transactions protocol will provide greater privacy of users. Decentralized exchange between the two blockchain-based networks Members of the Ethereum R&D team and the Zcash company are collaborating on a research project addressing the combination of programmability and privacy in blockchains. In a blog post, Ethereum Foundation team lead Christian Reitweiser and Zcash company engineer Ariel Gabazan wrote, We tested the new code by successfully. Connecting these two blockchains and teams is the natural way to bring to life applications requiring both. The Commission for Paying via Cryptocurrency China's largest cryptocurrency exchanges began to charge a fee for every trading operation with Bitcoin and Litecoin. CoinAdle.com reports BTCC, Huobi and OKK exchanges charging a flat fee of 0.2% per transaction for both market makers and takers. Updates entered into force on January 24 at midnight local time. Flashy startups like Coinbase, Circle, Blockchain and BitPay are some of the most famous companies in Bitcoin, but arguably more important are the miners, individuals and organizations who form the core backbone of Bitcoin, ensuring the digital currency's integrity. KC News has spoken with Amit Bhardwaj, CEO of GB Miners' fast-growing mining pool. Hello Amit, why GB Miners is a better project than other pools? What is the difference between pools? Uh, see, uh, the uh, fundamental technology uh, relies on the uh, system which lets the uh, pool uh, you know, work on the next block as soon as you find the first block. 
so uh, technically it's a smarter pool than other pools and uh, fundamentally we have a lot of uh, pool hash rate backed up by in house team members actually so pool hash rate doesn't drastically go down if the users you know decide to go away from the pool at the same time so that helps the pool to keep the right uh, output on the overall scale tell us please a bit about the development map of gb monis Yeah, so GB minus currently works with 200 customers. Uh, one is the retail customer, which uh, creates their own mining setup. I mean, uh, start with the, the pool working with a single miner or a couple of miners only. Also, at the same time, GB minus is working with the uh, you know large scale miners, where we provide them a co-location service also. Okay, so we have investors who have their co-location uh, uh, servers sitting at our our farms. We manage the server. I mean, we manage the hash rate on the GB minus pool. So this way, we want to take over the South Asian market, which is still very far away from the mining market, right? And uh, most of the mining is still concise to China. But we are uh, slowly and steadily spreading it to across the South Asian market. Why did you got such an idea to create a pool? Uh, see, uh, anyway, mining was very much concentrated in China, right? And India is a country which has a huge uh, You know, uh, potential in the Bitcoin space, and I, uh, I personally think that you know uh, we are still at a at a very uh, far behind pace to come to the actual landscape of the Bitcoin you know marketplace. So this is where uh, the thought came from, and we started uh, you know working on the mining space, and a good support from our customers across India has started pouring in, and that's what you why you were able to see GB Miner at a very uh, considerable position right now in very less time, right? So as such India itself is a very heavy potential market and this is what our belief is uh, and this is what we are trying to portray. Please tell our viewers what is the difference between the mining pools and cloud mining's. Uh yeah so mining pool uh, fundamentally is a software where you can attach your own hardware and start mining with the total uh, hash rate of the pool right. Cloud mining is something which a uh, operator does for you. And he manages complete solution from end to end, and provides a small portion of the mining to you at a certain cost. So the, the difference is uh, in pool mining you own the hash rate, in cloud mining the operator owns the hash rate. That's the basic difference. Amit, thanks so much. One million seven hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars. Data company Cambridge Blockchain gathered up to develop their startup on personal identification so much in almost a year. The platform allows financial institutions to meet the strictest data privacy rules, eliminate redundant identity company check, and improve the customer experience. The amount needed to run a startup is $2 million. $3 million for blockchain-powered eBay. Open Bazaar, the open source marketplace protocol powered by Bitcoin, have raised $3 million in new funding. Open Bazaar connected buyers and sellers directly through an application-based marketplace. According to Coindesk.com, instead of PayPal or credit cards, the market utilizes Bitcoin as a medium of exchange. Meanwhile, Eternity is testing a new blockchain project. Eternity, a blockchain development lab in Liechtenstein, has announced the testing of a new blockchain technology, Testnet. Founder Yanislav Malahov said that the company builds a blockchain solution for verifying, storing, and executing smart contracts. The lab representatives report Testnet will be turned on to mainnet next year, which is set to launch in early 2018. London Blockchain Week exclusive interview with a WeTrust representative and even more news from the crypto world immediately after the ads. Uber made a revolution in taxi business by allowing anyone to become a taxi driver. Drivers cash in their spare time for extra money and customers get a cheaper ride. Similarly, Upwork has created freelance industry by connecting professionals and their clients outside of traditional agencies. Chrono Bank will do the same with real-world professions that currently use recruitment, outsourcing, or labor hire companies. E-commerce, warehousing, industrial, building, cleaning, and more. Anyone will be able to sell labor time in their given profession. making it easy and low cost to recruit talent and pay for their services without any middleman. The first stage of our project is to create multi-blockchain labor hours. 
sustainable, stable coins that are protected from inflation. In contrast to national currencies, labor hours will be backed by real labor time provided by major recruitment companies around the world. The second stage is to create Labor X, a decentralized marketplace where people in the real world professions will be able to sell their labor time to anyone without middlemen, just as easily as Uber drivers or Upwork freelancers do. Get on board at the beginning of the revolution in recruitment with Chronobank. Blockchain Expo in London London Blockchain Week in January of 2017 has dedicated an entire week to blockchain or distributed ledger technology. ITO Initial Coin Offering has emerged as a fundamental leitmotif at one of the sessions of the London Blockchain Week. Main issues of the discussions are Risks of ICO and its possible obstacles Governmental regulations Key investors of the ICO There is some like speculative interest. Uh, imagine Kickstarter with tokens and you have a prototype and you want to launch the manufacturing. You go to your user base and say, oh, hey, okay guys, I have a prototype and I need money for expanding. So just raise, I want to raise some money and I want to launch the manufacturing in China. And I sell those tokens to you and you can swap them back to the actual product when it's ready. So is, is it the security? Sasha Ivanov, CEO at Waves, has questioned the security of this process. Nevertheless, in the view of Jeremy Miller, Chief of Staff at Consensys, the question of insecurity is not yet at hand, because the swap technology is not unique and indispensable. The problem with that structure is it's exchangeable back for something else, and that's one of the, that's one of the holes you can fall into in designing a token. Because if it starts to look like a swap, then it falls under a different class of regulation. A gym membership, if it's structured incorrectly, is a security, right? There are, there are examples of gyms getting sued for violating securities laws because they designed their, their gym memberships incorrectly. So if, something, if, if, if one form of asset is exchangeable for another form of asset, you run into where you need to take legal advice is, have I created a swap? And if I've created a swap, I've created a security. Could we expect the support from the regulators in the field of security? This question, along with the others, was raised by the participants of the conference. However, the consequences have not yet been settled uniformly. Still, the prospects of using blockchain technology had not been dubbed. My name is Abhima Nudel, so while studying uh, at my MSc uh, Real Estate Investment uh, in my business school, uh, I came across an idea that we can add so much liquidity into the real estate market just by registering the real estate on the blockchain, creating an ICO, and then people all over the world can just basically participate in this real estate ICO, and we can create a global market for real estate uh, using ICO. All these issues were discussed within the single session. London Blockchain Week has gathered more than 1,500 attendees on its 20 interactive sessions. A plenty of heated debates, flashy presentations and fruitful discussions took place, as it was provided by the format of the event. London will gather blockchain experts and all comers already in six months on FinTech Week. Xtratis platform was introduced in London Blockchain Expo earlier this week. Attendees of the event had an opportunity to learn how to develop, test and deploy decentralized blockchain apps. Stratis platform offers the option of one-click provisioning of blockchains, sidechains and private blockchain projects. It also provides its own blockchain hosting solution, Cloud Stratis, which is specifically suited for customized projects, including private and side blockchains. What is the future of insurance industry and how can blockchain influence on its development immediately after the ads? One does not simply start mining Bitcoin. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Turns out. Cloud mining technology has already made it possible, while Hashflare team has significantly simplified the process, allowing anyone to join. Are you ready to become a cloud miner? The financial industry today is dominated by large corporations that have not seen disruption for over a century. Navas' last new project aiming to change the current order of things are involving. We have interviewed the representative of WeTrust, 
fast developing project that attempts to turn the industry upside down. Hello, Patrick. First of all, what is WeTrust? Thanks for your question, Anna. Let me tell you a little bit about WeTrust. WeTrust is an Ethereum decentralized application used to leverage social capital, trust networks, and blockchain technology to create a financial system that has aligned interests with all its participants. This is in sharp contrast with the current banking system, where one cannot get an affordable loan without a well-paying job or good credit. We want to change the way people save and lend today, and allow those that don't have access to traditional financial means a way to bootstrap themselves and grow their、uh, capital. For whom is this platform? We trust Roska. Is going to be powered by smart contracts and blockchain technology. This will be a savings and credit platform that will allow users to lend and borrow from each other at self-determined interest rates with minimal friction. The immediate purposes that We Trust Rosca will serve will create an affordable path for two billion unbanked to obtain and track savings and credit. It will be a competitive alternative asset class. For savers, and it will facilitate group savings as a more effective way to reach individual savings goals. Okay, so our for our product will address you know multiple audiences. The main audiences are those who are unbanked, right, and they don't have access to credit. And the other audience are the people that already do have formal financial institutions. However, they're looking for an alternative, right? They're looking for alternative solutions to savings and credit. And how could you then join the project? It's really nice that you're interested in wanting to join our project. If you would like to play with our MVP, which tentatively will be finished and deployed on the Ethereum mainnet by February 6th, please visit Roska, R O S C A dot We Trust W E T R U S T dot I O. If you want to participate in our upcoming crowd sale. And support the movement. Please stay tuned. We'll be announcing the details of our fundraiser shortly. And how will the Bitpay Lending platform work? Will you be asking borrowers to put assets up as a collateral for their loans? Four persons can potentially use, and it's e-signing and legal binds、uh, through a legal contract that requires faithful adherence and payment to the Roska. So if you default on your payments. The group could potentially use this, you know, e-sign document to come after you. So this is more of a deterrent for higher-value Roscas, where legal action would potentially be worthwhile. And finally, another idea that we've been playing with is potentially having members contribute an amount of collateral. Right? You can put up some collateral in a smart contract, which will essentially, you know, give the property to the group if you miss. Your payment, or you breach the agreement, and this could be something like, you know, the title to your house, or the title to your car. Assets that are less liquid, right, but would allow you to gain access to a Roska with higher dollar amounts. So these three ideas: reputation risk, legal risk, and collateral risk. We think is sufficient to have it so that, you know, people don't cheat the system, and there's more trust in the community. Of course, we're always exploring more ways, and in the future, as we come up with better and better solutions, we will integrate those into our platform. Thanks a lot, Patrick. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has announced the first blockchain fan vote. The fan vote through Votem, who builds mobile voting platforms to enable people around the world to easily and securely vote online and from their mobile devices. About two million people from 100 different countries cast their votes for their favorite rock artist. 60% of those voted from their phones. Votem's blockchain platform enables to easily collect votes from around the world without the risk of falsely adding to the vote counts. That's all the news for today. Watch our weekly news and daily dodges. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. Stay in touch and make your dreams come true. As Winston Churchill said, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no less of enthusiasm. See you in a week.